Hi all folks, this is Max from htcvohacks.com and also androiddummies.com. So today I'm going to show you how to um, connect your phone as a FTP um, server or through FTP server. Um, and you can use it as a drive instead of connecting all the time uh, with a USB cable. You can just be connected to your SD card wirelessly. So how do you do that? Um, basically you're going to install this thing called the uh, FTP server uh, Swift or SWE FTP FTP server. Um, you can install this. Go to the market and search for it. And then you will probably you can do this over the internet too but um, for the purpose of this tutorial I'm just going to show you how to do it um, for your local wireless network um, but later on you can um, I think there's an app for dynamic DNS um, that you can use so you can actually access your phone's uh, SD card via um, your desired domain name um, but for the purposes of our DIY here we'll just connect it to our computer uh, on our Windows computer as a uh, FTP server or you can for Windows you can connect it as a um, network drive so it's really easy to copy files back and forth anyway it's kind of slow here um, and you can do that on the Mac too just I have Windows and there's similar programs on Mac so it, it sh you should be able to do it on Linux or Mac too it's just a matter of networking it um, as a disk drive. Or you can just use an FTP program. So open it up. All right. And then for username, let me zoom in here. I'm just going to use test and set a password. And you set as test. Um, the port number is 2121. And then here you can change uh, things like accept connections from net proxy, um, but you probably don't need that. Um, keep the phone awake, full CPU speed, if you want to get uh, full speed. Uh, and then save. And then hit start. And make sure you're on uh, Wi-Fi, your home Wi-Fi, otherwise um, the URL will be different. And make a note of this URL is uh, FTP uh, dot dot slash slash 192.168.2.116.2121. So that's the FTP. You can actually go to this on your browser and you can access, you can see all the files on your SD card or use your favorite FTP program. But let me show you on my Windows computer how to connect it as a disk drive so you can always access it easily copy files over so let's go do it hi folks so I've got my computer here um, and if you go to your computer uh, most likely on XP Vista Windows 7 you'll have this thing called map network drive um, actually I already got it mapped let me uh, delete it real quick so I can show you um, hit ma map network drive that one and you get something pop up like this um, so what you can do is uh, actually choose this option, connect to a website that can uh, use to store your documents, photos, pictures. Click there, and then you come to uh, add network uh, location wizard, and choose custom network location, hit next. And here type the address ftp dot slash slash 192.168.2.116. 2121 like you saw it on your phone right there so it's matching um, let me zoom in here so you can see they're matching right that number is matching that number that number is matching that number all right and once that's done just click next and um, unclick the logon anonymous on anonymously Username hit uh, put test whatever your uh, username was. I put test and password test. Next, and you can put uh, your name for this location. I'll put my Evo 4G like that. Hit next, 
and then open this network location when I finish. Hit finish, and then it it, it should ask, actually ask you for the password, but I already put it in. And then you can just get out of the other stuff. And now when you look at your, uh, whenever you open your computer, you can access your SD card uh, anytime going to my Evo 4G. And uh, this is great because now, you know, I don't have to have my wires. In my it's, I took the wires off. But I can go to the SD card folder and you can actually access the whole um, system folder, which is cool. And you can copy files into it. You can just drag copies files into it or drag it out. Um, this is great because it keeps the wires free. You can have your phone like in the living room, um, but still copy ROMs over. The FTP speed is uh, slightly slower. Well, actually, it's a lot slower than USB. But uh, it's great if you know. Oops. If you don't want, if your if your phone is in your living room and you're in your study room or something and you want to copy files over you can do it wirelessly um, and uh, anytime you want to disconnect just turn this off um, okay and anytime you want to do it just hit start there and go to my Evo 4G and there you have it um, so that's how you connect wirelessly to your SD card using the uh, installing an FTP server this can work on any Android smartphone or uh, tablet device anyway subscribe and uh, maybe you guys can leave comments on what you want to see on my channel um, I know I, I do a bunch of videos on cooking making Korean rice wine traveling uh, phones whatever um, please leave in the comment section below and you know hopefully I can make a new video about that Anyway, go enjoy. I'm going to go enjoy my wireless uh, FTP SD card thingy. See y'all later and subscribe. I got to go make some Korean rice wine. Well, actually, that's what I'm doing.